Hello everyone, and today I am in Ulyanovsk. I arrived by very early train and it's going to be just one day trip. So today I will show you some places which I will have time to visit. And uh, the Volga River is behind me. Ulyanovsk is a very historical city. It was founded in 1648. Ulyanovsk was founded in the 17th century and changed its name several times during its history. It was founded by decree of Tsar Alexei Mikhailovich to protect the lands from raids by nomads and was named Simbirsk. And during the reign of Catherine II, it became Simbirsk. The difference in the letter occurred due to the fact that Catherine II made a mistake in spelling, replacing the letter N with the letter M. In 1924, the city was renamed Ulyanovsk in honor of Vladimir Ulyanov Lenin. Lenin's real last name is Ulyanov. My attitude towards Lenin is negative, and I don't want to devote a lot of time to him in my video. However, I must mention that Ulyanovsk is the birthplace of Lenin, and this is the most famous fact about the city. Academician Andrei Sakharov, Nobel Prize laureate and creator of the Soviet hydrogen bomb, worked for some time in Ulyanovsk. In the summer of 1942, Sakharov graduated from the university with honors. Instead of graduate school, he chose to work at the cartridge plant named after Vladarsky in Ulyanovsk. 
disciplined is still in operation. During the Great Patriotic War, Volodarsky cartridge plant was a leading industrial and defense enterprise in the Lyanovsk region. Several years ago, Lyanovsk was awarded the title City of Labor Valor. This is an honorary title awarded to the city of the Russian Federation whose residents made a significant contribution to achieving victory in the Great Patriotic War of 1941-1945, ensuring the uninterrupted production of military and civilian products with industrial enterprises located on the territory of the city. Also in Lyanovsk, there is the Lyanovsk car plant. In Russian, the abbreviation is called as UAS. UAS is known for producing cars like these. In Russia, we call them LOS. In Russian, it sounds as Buhanka, but it resembles the shape of bread. UAS made electric cars long before it became fashionable, and these were precisely these low cars Buhanki, as we call them in Russian. The first model of the Lyanovsk electric car was developed in 1959. Since then, almost every batch of electric cars bearing the Waz brand has been in some way more advanced than the previous one. The 1983 cars had a more economical and reliable electric drive system. The batteries could be recharged from any industrial AC line when parked for loading or during the driver's lunch break. Another interesting fact about OAS is that the first car to conquer Elvis was the OAS 469, produced in Lyanovsk. In August 1974, it rose to a height of 4,200 meters in 25 minutes. Ulyanovsk is also considered the aviation capital of Russia. On the territory of Ulyanovsk, there are many enterprises in one area or another interacting with the aviation industry, and of course, there is the Ulyanovsk aircraft plane, where the Russian aircraft Ruslan was produced. It's a highly long range military transport aircraft. Today, it is the largest military transport aircraft in the world. The largest Soviet cargo, AN-225 Maria, was manufactured only in two copies. A modification of the famous Il-76 aircraft is also being manufactured at the aircraft plant in Ulyanovsk. The Il-76 multifunctional transport aircraft was developed back in the USSR. One of the main requirements of the military was the ability to use Il-76 at airfields with a short landing strip as well as unpaved airfields. The new modification of the Il-76 IL-76 is capable of transporting 60 tons of cargo over a distance of up to 4,000 km. The plane has a more powerful engine than previous versions. It's Tenterov's house. Dentrov is our famous Russian writer. He was born in 1812 and he was of merchant origin. So let's explore how he lived and visit these buildings together. In 1864, there was a major fire in Simbirsk that lasted nine days and destroyed most of the city. The fire didn't bypass the Gontirov house, so much has been restored here and each owner rebuilt and repaired the estate. In addition to his writing craft, Ivan Gonchirov was also a famous literary critic. He graduated from Moscow University and returned to Simbirsk, where he lived for about a year, and then went to St. Petersburg. At literary evenings, Gonchirov met Fyodor Dostoevsky and Ivan Turgenev.
Um, in general, I can recommend to visit Ulyanovsk if you have such opportunity because uh, the city is really worth of uh, visiting and walking here. And uh, all the things are concentrated in the historical part of the city, in the center. So in my opinion, one maximum two days is really enough. Also, there are lots of different um, museums which are part of like ethno-historical complex and I visited two of them and I will show you later. I didn't like uh, the first one which I visited but the second was kind of nice and uh, also I would like to say that um, there are a lot of different uh, observation platforms. I can mention I think at least uh, two of them uh, with a beautiful view on River Volga. You can look at the interior of the past approximately the end of the 19th, beginning of the 20th centuries, and take an audio guide. While we are looking at the interior, I would like to mention that Ulyanovsk is famous for cinder site, with a mineral stone. Our trip is over. I hope you liked everything or if not everything, at least something. Probably you will visit this city one day. And thank you so much for watching and see you 